we're going to be talking about an open source AI video generator that's absolutely free to use. Let's dive right into it. Okay, so you want to head on over to genmo.ai and you want to get onto right here the Mochi One Playground. Now, what this is, is like I said, just a free video generator. You get six free fast video generations a day and you get 30 free video generators a month. Uh, and the video quality is really good. So I'm going to show you guys some examples of what uh, other people have already done. Let's just go. Now these right now, the downside to one of this is this 420p, but you can always use a upscaler and take it up to 1080 or even 4K. So you can see right here, the uh, I can't read what that is, but obviously it's a female rocker with tattoos uh, playing the guitar. And, you know, she's not actually playing all notes, but some of the notes there look so the, her fingers look good playing like it's like she's playing notes and stuff. Uh, there is a seven string guitar with probably bass string, bass tuners on the bottom, but the movements are smooth. The crowd in the back does not look awkward and you know, it's really solid. Let's move on over to this one right here. We've got a medium shot of a 45 year old Chinese American man with tired eyes and straight stubble, yeah, straight stubble wearing a worn leather jacket over a plain white t-shirt. Dark circles under his eyes, weather complexion. This is like a pretty detailed prompt here. I won't read it all, but this is a really good video. Video. I mean, the detail in it, the background's moving smooth. You know, there's hands look good. There's nothing awkward, nothing not awkward with it. Let's see here. Let's scroll over here. Here's a time lapse. City lights turn into dust to fall. Uh, here is a realistic close up of Jesus standing on water. Kind of cool. Uh, some storms. And, you know, like right now, like I said, these are all 420p, but you can upgrade it. It does uh, animations. Uh, and also, if, like you can look here, it's pretty consistent. So somebody was doing an animation here, and I think basically it was like a boy with a yellow and blue, uh, yellow shirt, blue shorts with brown hair, you know, and, and was describing the girl and the boy. And, you know, the short col color is a little different here. But you could see he was able to get the boy looked really similar throughout here. And uh, that's that's uh, one thing that I have noticed. If you generate the same uh, prompt, you will kind of get really close to the same uh, uh, generation each time. Some of the ones that I have done here, um, I've done this one here. There's a woman with blood on her face, white tank top looking down on the right. Uh, back up as she speaks. Uh, she has dark hair pulled back, light skin. And like I said, this needs to be upscaled, but, you know, the quality itself looks good just as it is. Here is a two World War II soldiers emerging from a trench, their faces etched with grime and exhaustion. One is a grizzled sergeant gripping a weathered map. You know, he's pointing to the right, he's pointing which way to go. You can see the background right here is definitely a war scene. Their uniforms are you know, era with uniforms to World War II. Here we got a rugged man in his late thirties with scruffy facial hair and a dirt smeared face sits on the edge of a wooden crate, dimly lit room. He wears a torn leather jacket over a faded gray shirt. His hands calloused and trembling clutch a small old photograph. The camera angle is medium close up capturing his upper body and the edges of the crate. His dark brown eyes are glistening. And you can see he really does a good job here. His hands are kind of shaking a little bit, a little too much. But, you know, if I ran this again, I could probably get it a little better. Uh, let's see here. I did have one fall, fail on me. This is one I liked a lot. Uh, cinematic sci-fi world set with post-apocalyptic cityscape with glowing neon skyscrapers. He's running through the scene. You know, it looks pretty good. I mean, there's it's a little glitchy in a couple areas right there like right here they just kind of come out of nowhere but you know this is kind of neat if you're just looking for something quick to, to make here's will smith eating spaghetti the classic uh how well a video generator is doing <laughs> and looks like he took it and rolled it up in his mouth and took it back out so and he's eating with two forks too so that's you know kind of neat you can always reuse a prompt too if you just click down here on your button here uh, and here, back to the static shots. I was able to get, this is a static shot. 
And but I was wanting snow to be coming on the outside window, and it put snow inside the fireplace, which is hilarious. Um, and then there is, I believe this was a static shot too, not the scene I was wanting to go for, but it it did end up doing a static shot. Yes, here is a middle-aged man wearing tattered clothing, watches helicopters flying over in a dystopian city. You see, it fades into him. Pretty cool shot. Um, that helicopter looks good. That one looks a little wonky. Uh, that helicopter there, it's missing this tailpiece. And that one's blown apart, I guess. Uh, if you were using, you could use this in a video and have, probably take that one out and blow that other one up if you needed to. So, now to use this, you just click on right here. Um, like I said, it gives you uh, six free fast video uh, a day. So you can type in whatever you want. We can just type in a man uh, walking down uh, New York sidewalk. And uh, what's he wearing? A, a clown costume. All right, let's see what this does for us. And it's really fast generating. So now once you get past the six, it still lets you generate videos. This just takes a little bit longer. Um, but like I said, you get up to 30 a month for free. Okay, so what it gave me was a uh, time-lapse version of this clown walking on the New York sidewalk. And that particular one doesn't look as good. I'm going to try a different one and maybe add a little bit more detail to it. Let's see what I can do here. Okay, so what I went with was a clown making balloon animals on a sidewalk in New York City. He has a crowd, a, a crowd of kids around him. Cinematic. Okay, so I just I just kept it short. Okay, while that's generating, I'm going to show you guys the cost of this. So you go over here to your little sign-in thing. Click Manage Subscription. Uh, right now, so I'm on the free plan. Uh, it's got yearly or monthly options. Create up to four videos every six hours. So I got that wrong. Apologize. Um, and then you got the uh, up to 30 videos monthly to explore your creativity. Uh, includes uh, the watermark, ideal for personal, and standard generation speed. I could have swore I saw that that said. They may have changed that because earlier when I was doing it, it said that it was, uh, it was reduced to the lower speed after I reached my four. Okay, the second option is uh, light for $10 a month and $8 yearly. Create up to eight videos every six hours, up to 80 videos monthly, expanded creativity, watermark free creations uh, for professional touch, full commercial usage, rights to monetize your content. And then the standard is 32 videos every six hours for $30 a month and 180 videos monthly, unlimited possibilities and the water free, watermark free and free commercial use and all that stuff. Definitely it's way cheaper than Runway. Um, Cling's not too bad, but Runway's really expensive for what it is. Uh, downside to this, you don't get, you know, you can't do image to video yet. Um, you only get five seconds and it's 420p. Let's go back and see the, uh, the clown and see what that turns out looking like. See, that doesn't look too bad at all. Set the <laughs> taxi's going backwards. Um, okay, that one's a little weird. It was a little wonky. This actually looks kind of terrifying. Is that kid? Hold on. Yes, that kid's a Siamese twin. Ah, where, what's this kid's deal? Okay. You know, it's AI. It's still going to do his stuff. Look, this kid here. Wow. I think it turned into an adult. Look. Watch. And now it's a full grown adult. That's hilarious. You know, I was kind of hoping it would actually have like a balloon dog or something. This guy's just, this guy's a fraud. <laughs> he smells like meat and cheese. Okay. That's all I got for Genmo. Uh, it's like I said, it's free to use. Um, it's fun. Something if you just want to play around with it, just trying to get into AI video generation, don't want to spend any money on subscriptions because they are adding up. Let me tell you, uh, you know, it's, it's definitely something you can mess around with and you make you something. Uh, could you put out a video with this? I think so. 
you can always upscale it just by you know using an app like Topaz um, or uh, Uniconverter from Wondershare has a video upscaler. It's a little bit cheaper than the Topaz one. Um, yeah, I definitely think that you could take this and put something together with it, uh, make something a uh, decent little video, a short film, or whatever you want to do with it. So your let your creativity run wild. Um, that's all I've got for now. I just wanted to share something free to use with for you guys. And uh, thanks for watching. Till next time.